So this campus doesn't look anything like you remember, is it? Absolutely not. I wouldn't recognize outside the main quad. I can remember having a class that met 8 a.m. on Saturday mornings. I understand that they don't have 8 a.m. classes on any day these days. I used to come down to the, to the quad and study, and I could always set my watch because at nine o'clock every night, Alexander Kerensky, who was the the president of uh, Premier of Russia during, you know, after the revolution, but before the communists took over, and he lived here, and he would walk around the quad at nine o'clock every night. So I remember Alexander Kerensky. When I started in 1950. Tuition was two hundred and fifty dollars a quarter. I can't. I, I miss the old uh, Stanford, which really exists now only in my memories. Uh, it had a more of a uh, down-home feel to it. It's uh, a little bit overwhelming nowadays. It's so uh, everything's so perfect and glossy. And, uh, you know, it, back when I was here, uh, you could walk around in the quad and the, and the floors squeaked because the, uh, the boards didn't fit so well together and everything. Now everything is really ship shape. The medical campus was in San Francisco at the time. They did not have linear accelerators at that time. <laughs> How does it make you feel nostalgic or are you um, proud? Proud, proud, proud to be a, a son of Stanford. Yeah.